Did she say you've got a side salad on your face? Let me get on it. Would you rather me lie? I don't know if you would. I'm getting frustrated. Hi. Guys, the weather's wank. So you might hear rain. So I'm sorry if you do, but I can't change the weather. <laughs> also, I had a thought just before I pressed record then. This top, like the top of it, reminds me of like, is it like the Star Trek costumes? That's what it's giving me. But anyway, hi! Welcome, Welcome back, back to another video. video. Today, it's another Britney video. I know y'all have been waiting for this one, maybe. Some of you told me not to bother with this one, but then some of you told me to make sure I do this one. For me and myself, I wanted to make sure I do every single thing that she's ever released, eventually. We're doing Britney Jean. Now I know from obviously you guys and having done all the other stuff that this album isn't necessarily fully Britney i.e. most of it's not Britney. I think it's a girl called Maya, Maya Marie, is it? Now, you'll have to forgive me because when I've mentioned this album in the past, I have said Mary Jane. So if I say Mary Jane, just know that I do, I do mean Maya Marie. It is produced by Will I Am, I believe. I'm not sure about the whole thing, but I know that a lot of it is. This is the second to last album that I've got to do of Britney's before we get to her very first album that she ever released. Um, that's why I thought I'd do this one now. So then even if this one isn't my favorite, we're not ending it on a sour note. We're hopefully gonna end it on a good note with her very first album next. Yes? How's that sound? In this whole album, all I've heard is work bitch. Um, yeah. If you're excited to see my thoughts to Britney Jean, then please do keep on watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. The button's going up there as well as down below. And yeah, let's get into it. That was a really quick, speedy... Yeah. First track is Alien. Let's do it. Oh, and I meant to also say, although it is, it, I obviously know that it's not mainly Britney, I'm still going to give it a chance. Like, I'm not going to come in here and, like, slate all the songs, even if they're good. Do you know what I mean? Just because it's not Britney, I'm still going to give it a chance regardless. And if a song's good, I'm just going to tell you that it's good. And if a song's bad, I'm going to tell you that it's bad. Okay. Okay, where are we going? I expected a little bit more from the chorus, I can't, I can't lie. That's why I was like, where are we going? Apparently that's where we were going. Um, but yeah, not my list. I do think you can tell though that this isn't Britney. To be honest, I could be bullshitting and this, this still could be Britney. Because I don't actually know what parts obviously Maya Marie has done. She's obviously tried to emulate Britney's like quirks in her voice, like how she ends some words. But I mean, like I said, this could be Britney and maybe I'm just bullshitting. This is not what I expected though, at all. Yeah, do you know what it is? I need a bit of a difference between the verses and the chorus. I feel like we don't get much of a peak and a trough. Now, coming into this, I thought I was gonna be popping my pussy. And so far I'm uh, maybe flicking my nipples a little bit, right? But that's about it. But lyrically, it's cute! See, like, for example, this is the bridge, right? And they've done an abandoned bridge, but they've done an abandoned bridge made up of the exact same production the rest of the track has been. Right? See, and straight back! Why are we going straight back? The uncha, uncha, uncha. They needed to give me a bit more spice. Okay, so my thoughts on Alien. Overall, pretty positive thoughts. I just think personally they, they could have done more with this track. I feel like lyrically it was cute, pretty surface level, we didn't really get in, into anything, but not a bad song by any means. Definitely a cute mid-tempo number. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing considering the follow-up track to this one is now going to be Work Bitch, which we all know is a absolute banger. So, I'm not so mad that obviously Alien Wars more mid-tempo. So let's get into the next track, Work Bitch. Obviously a song I've heard. 
See, this is this is what I expected coming into this. I expected like kind of femme fatale realness. Did this follow up femme fatale? I feel like it did. Look at me knowing knowing the fucking timeline. It did. It went femme fatale, then this, then glory. See, so this is how you do an abandoned chorus. <laughs> And this side of bridge. Ooh. Okay, so that was work, bitch. Obviously, I've heard that plenty. I will say, not my favourite of Britney's bops, but I think it definitely serves its purpose in that it is a clubby track, right? For a club scenario, I would absolutely bum the shit out of this. Okay, moving on. Next track, track number three, Perfume. Now, I think this is a, this is one that has a music video, so single energy, right? I'm very intrigued. <laughs> Lyrics! She said, hi, I'm gonna give you a lyric. Now I see this one really giving us an up and a down. So oh, not, not where I expected us to go, but absolutely yes. Right, let's get lyrics up quickly for this one because I'm hearing them. Perfume, Britney. Do I imagine it or do I see you stare? Is there still longing there? Oh, I hate myself and I feel crazy. Such a classic tale. Current girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, I'm trying to be cool. So is she the current girlfriend and then is her husband still, oh, not husband, boyfriend thinking about his ex? Am I being paranoid? Am I seeing things? Am I just insecure? Okay. Put on my perfume. Yeah, I want it all over you. I'm gonna mark my territory. Right, so she's putting on her perfume so then when she uh, gives her mister a hug, it rubs off on him and then she, obviously she can smell it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Production-wise, this is not what I thought we'd be getting on this album at all. See, this bit doesn't sound like Britney to me. Okay, so that was Perfume. I definitely enjoyed the lyrics in that track. Um, like I said, not necessarily where I thought we were going to be going with this album in terms of um, production. I'm happy that we had a bit more of an up and a down with that track. Um, I definitely think that one, that one was a bit more successful and I would listen to that again. Now, next track is It Should Be e Easy featuring Will I Am, which has me a bit nervy because... Uh, Will I Am stands look away now. I'm not always the biggest fan of Will I Am and the way he produces or the way he does music. So I'm a little bit nervy, but let's just get into it. I'm finding it hard to understand where we are. Guys, I was really trying to figure out that I'm not sure if you can see it on my face. I was really trying to figure out the pattern they were going for, but I couldn't. <laughs> Let's just carry on. Like really I think he's, I think for me, I'm not sure if her, her melody is particularly going with this production right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm being stupid. Here he is. Okay, so I feel like Will I Am's part fits better. Like, is sitting nicer on the production. Okay. Has Will I Am done Britney dirty? Yes. <laughs> uh, you're a bit too high, I'm just gonna bring you down a bit more. Okay, I'm ready to bang. Okay, I'm here for this beat. This fits better with the production. Her beginning part, mm, interesting, but this fits nice. Okay, I'm feeling good about this track. Ooh. I'm not listening to words, I can't lie. I actually kind of like Will I Am's part. I feel like I'm at a rave. Ooh! Okay, so we're getting unexpected twists and turns. We're getting an EDM y, ravey, clubby sound. Into it. Okay, this is one thing I don't like about 
just rave music and club music in general is when they repeat a word just over and over and over and over, 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 until we get another build and then another drop. That's just what happens in my brain. I just don't like that, regardless of who does it. It doesn't gel right with me. Like anyone, anyone could just do that. I could do that on fucking Final Cut. Like, what, what, what word should I say and shall I just do, shall I demonstrate? No. <laughs> I couldn't be asked. I was gonna give my editing self more work then I was like, fuck that. <laughs> I actually did it anyway, so you are welcome, my huns. Okay, you did. la di dee la di da bitch. Okay. I'm into that one. It was a bit questionable at the very beginning. Just the, the just a little intro. What I think is going to be the case with this album, this is just off of the first four tracks that we've got, right? I think the music is going to be good. I think the songs are going to be good. They're just not going to be exceptional like most of her fucking discography, right? I mean, that's I think that's what's going to happen. But anyway, who knows? She could prove me wrong. I might fucking adore the rest of the album. Let's carry on. Next track, Tick Tick Boom, featuring T.I. Okay, we're going bang town. Did she say you've got a side salad on your face? Let me get on it. I'm gonna have to get the lyrics up because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna to concentrate. Oh, <laughs> she didn't say you've got a side salad. <laughs> she said you got sex siren in your face. Let me get up on it. Let me get up on it. Let me get up on it. Talk dirty to me, babe. Every time I want it. Every time I want it. Every time I want it. Okay, it's fucking side salad. Into this one, T.I. do not come on here and fuck this one up, please, thanks. Oh. Hey, boom. Right, so we're on about penetration. I've got a fucking eyebrow hair dangling down or something. So we are on about doing the rumpy de pumpy. She's saying not too quick, not too slow. Just make me tick, tick, boom. So she wants to explode. Right, I get it. I catch what you're throwing, Brittany. I like this one a lot. Turn it. Hey, come for a minute limitation, babe. Like your PJ. Okay, T.I. Guys, yeah, I think this is going to be my favourite one so far. She like to wear eat her, yeah, beat her, yeah, beat her, yeah, beat her, yeah, treat her like an animal. T.I. serving, innit? Okay, so while filming, I didn't notice his lyrics, but his lyrics were something like, she liked the way I eat her, beat her, beat her, treat her like an animal. We do not condone that. I do not. No. Even if it is a form of sexual pleasure. Because I think that might be what you're talking about. T.I. is serving. Close it back and behold it's Oh, absolutely. Baby, let me tick, tick, boom. Y'all, I'm into that one. I love that I literally went on a little rant there just being like, I don't think this this, this album's going to be exceptional like the rest. And then Tick, Tick, Boom's my favourite so far. Right. Typical. Okay, yes, I'm absolutely on board. Let's go. Next track, Body Ache. Oh! Turn me on, make it radiate. Oh, I know exactly where she's going with this one. Guys, mm, okay, I'm into the Guys, I'm low key into this. Ooh! See, this is what we're after. We're after the ups and the downs. We're after her vocals matching up with the production. This is what I wanted. Okay, she said, Brad, shut the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, see so this one, unexpected twists and turns. I have no idea where the fuck we're going, right? This is about to be another one that I like. I <laughs> hey, into it. See, yeah, they're fucking around with the track. Come on. This is another one that's gonna be up there for me in, from this album. 
Okay, Miss Bitch. We'll say, a little bit repetitive, but that's kind of what you sign up for with this kind of music, like the clubbier anthems, right? So that really doesn't bother me, just thought I'd put that out there. But Body Ache is going to be another one. Tick, Tick, Boom and Body Ache have got me going a little bit. Like, I'm a little bit excited. So let's just continue. Till it's gone, let's do it. So lost ever since you went away. See, and they're also, they are sticking to like the formula of these like long build-ups. I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing, I'm just kind of pointing that out. Yeah? Because this is going to be another one where we have a long build-up. Yes to this little drop. This is the thing, I don't really care so much if we if we have, have got obviously the typical formula, as long as the drops are unique and interesting. Cause I was I was literally thinking in my head, like it'll be interesting to see if this one will have a cool drop or whether this one's gonna be one that I'm not gonna be able to like really identify after I've watched this, unless obviously I come on to this song. But it has definitely got a unique drop there, so I'm into it. Tea. Yeah, I will say, so far, with this track, the only part I'm really caring for is this drop, is this chorus. Right? I feel like the, the verses are just like, meh, okay, yeah, but I'm, I'm here for this chorus. But I can see myself moving to this in the club, do you know what I mean? Bridge, okay. Okay, so my thoughts on this one, definitely one of the more successful choruses in my opinion, but I do think the verses are a little bit forgetful. That's what I will say with that one. Moving on, next track, Passenger. Well, this is different production from what we've had so far. Kind of unique. Okay. Just based off of that intro that we got there, I did not think this was where we were gonna go, but I'm not mad at it. I will say, shorten that intro down a little bit, we didn't need that much. Guys, I just think Femme Fatale did it better. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? I, I, am I gonna get hate for this video? I really don't know. <sighs> Okay, well, I was into that. I don't know! There's so Guys, there's something off. I don't know what it is, right? Because I feel like this should be one that I should be liking, but I don't know what it is. This is going to be another one that they, they've, they have, like, the ingredients and the potential for this, to, for this to have been a really good track. But for some reason, this one's just not connecting with me. I really don't know why. Okay, so something about that one just did not float my booty. I'm sorry to say. I really am. So I, and I thought when when um, we first got past the intro to that song, I thought that was going to be one that I was going to really like, but something about it just wasn't for me. Next track, Chilling With You, featuring Jamie Lynn. Now is that her sister? Jamie Lynn Spears. I'm very intrigued to see what this sounds like, so let's just go. Yeah. I think we need this. I think that's what it is. I think I was due a little switch up a little bit. So I think we were, we were, yeah. We, I'm hoping this is gonna be a good breather for me. Okay. What? What is happening with this one? Did not see that coming. I thought this was gonna be like a nice cute mid-tempo number. Okay, we're switching it up, all right. See, I will appreciate that they have done that drastic switch up from the, from the verses to the chorus. I will say I appreciate the switch up because that's exactly what I was asking for in Alien. So I'm not, I'm not about to slate it. I'm, I think it was ballsy and I appreciate it. Low key. I think I prefer the chorus of this track to the to the verses. 
Yeah, I think I low-key kind of do, I can't lie. Because the, the chorus has me feeling a bit spicy, a bit like, oh, okay, we're popping his poos a little bit. Whereas, like, the verses, I'm kind of asleep. <laughs> I feel like people are going to hate on me in this video, and I'm so sorry, but it's either I'm honest or not. Would you rather me lie? I don't know if you would. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. See, I wish I'd done more of that. Do more of the fucking chorus. Okay. I'm conflicted. I feel like it's the inconsistency that's throwing me off with this because I don't think it's clear what they were trying to do because we've got the odd track here and there that's extremely mid-tempo and really mellow, but then we've got like the EDM, whereas like with her past work, like it's been very clear what they were going with. Like Femme Fatale, that was EDM bangers through and through, right? Circus, a clear recipe for what they were going for. Like all the way through, her other works, it's been clear where they were going and like the genre, what they were trying to hit. And don't get me wrong, switching it up is good within an album, but still make it cohesive. I feel like these tracks aren't cohesive. And I think that's what's throwing me off. Because they're not bad songs. They're actually not bad songs. But they're just not cohesive with each other. Right? Does that make any sort of sense? Oh God, I'm panicking a little bit because I don't want people to hate on me. Oh! Guys, I'm honestly really trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but I've got to, like I said, I've been, I've got to be honest with you. Like, how are we about to have fucking guitar on this track, but then I'm sure, like, the next track's gonna be fucking mm -mm, head banging. I don't know, I'm just really kind of conflicted, I can't lie. All right. Let's just move on. Guys, I'm struggling a little bit. So I, I don't know whether I'm coming or fucking going with this piece of work. Moving on, don't cry. Oh, I won't. I'm close. Like, what the fuck is this? Are we going yee now? It can be See, now this has potential to boom and be a fun, fun track. Now they just need to go the right way with it. Like, like the production has me intrigued, her vocal approach has got me intrigued. Please do it right. Okay! Now is this like a pre-chorus because I'm hoping for it even a little bit more. I'm into this one. And I'm liking the production. I know for a fact, after this bridge, they're not going to go further with the production that we've had already on chorus, on the first two choruses. But I wish they would. Right? Give me a little bit extra. Now, if they do, then fuck me. Right? I'm wrong. I'll happily take it. But I really don't think they're going to because of what they've given us so far on the tracks. But I, I'm craving a tiny bit more for the progression of the track. Straight back! Huh? Guys, why didn't they do more? Why didn't they do more? Why didn't they do more? Anyway, I'm just gonna continue. That one was a decent track in my mind. Not mad at it, but I just wish they'd done a tiny bit more towards the end, okay? I'm getting frustrated. Because they have gems here. Why not polish the gem? <gasps> Next track, Brightest Morning Star. All right, title. See, what the fuck? The whole, I feel like the first half was EDM realness for the most part. And this second half has been the most experimental thing to ever walk on planet Earth. Is this about a kids? Okay, we're building again. Okay. Okay, so all we've gathered so far is that she... Someone is the brightest morning star in her beautiful life, right? Lyrically, where are they? Because she served lyrics in, like, literally... 
every fucking album. To the point where I've been shocked because coming into Britney and like, oh. like coming into Britney's work, I didn't know to expect lyrics and she has served me with lyrics often. I think that's one thing I'm missing because this once again has a good plot and a storyline, but there's not much in terms of development. But with that said, I am enjoying the production. I'm enjoying the um, track as a whole. <laughs> See, the production works, Hans. Like, tell us why. Do you know what I mean? Like, tell us why they're this for you. Tell us why. I want to be in on it. I want to feel the love. Because this is a lovey-dovey track. Tell me why. Sorry, I need to relax. Whew. Like, I'm vibing. Okay, yeah. So that's my thoughts on that one. It's a good track. Is it, an, is it an exceptional track? No, not in my opinion. Next track, hold on tight. Let's do it. I'm really trying to keep the faith. I will just say before we get to the end, before you guys write this video off, we do have some, like, gems here. Okay, this is giving me Halloween vibes. Okay, last track that I'm going to do on this album because I'm not going to do the remix of Perfume. Now that I found you, who have we found? Okay, lyrics! See what? I did not think we'd be going here. All right. What? <laughs> not mad. Okay. 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 So that, so that brings, brings us, us to, to the, the end. end. Yeah of this album. Now, let me just preface this whole outro by saying this definitely is not one of my favourites. Okay? <laughs> but I feel like you guys probably knew that coming into this. Um, I really don't know if I should be apologising right now. I really don't know because I'm sure there is Britney fans out there that, that, that love this album. Um, I'm just not one of them. Now, like I said earlier in the video, there definitely is some gems here. There's definitely a few songs that I would for sure listen to again and I would for sure enjoy. Um, I will tell you what they are. Work Bitch, Perfume, Tick Tick Boom, Body Ache, and potentially Till It's Gone. Other than that, hmm. Now, I will say, I think the disconnect for me was like, the production didn't work track to track and even within tracks. Um, lyrically, pretty surface level, which is kind of sad because I've become accustomed to Britney serving us some lyrics, right? I just don't think this was a good representation of Britney's work. And I think this is why this is probably not a fan favorite and also because obviously Britney wasn't even passionate about this album enough to finish it. So I don't feel too bad because obviously like me and Britney are kind of on the same page. I was kind of hopeful coming into this that I was gonna bum this and like I could kind of prove you guys wrong and be like, no guys, like this is actually kind of good. But I also can't lie to you and I'm not about to lie to you. I've not lied to you this whole time. When a track's not done it for me, I fucking told you. So I ain't about to lie. Hopefully you guys can accept that I'm uh... I gave this a chance and there's definitely, like I said, a few tracks here that I can appreciate, but for the most part, it kind of left me wanting a bit more and I don't think I'll be returning to this album in a hurry to experience the whole thing. That's kind of where I'm at with this one. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm so sorry if you're disappointed by this video. I really don't know if people are gonna be. I have no idea what the reaction is gonna be to this. You win some, you lose some, it is what it is. But anyway, this brings us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy, I'm not sure if you did, <laughs> then please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Um, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. They'll be on the screen up there as well as link down below. And yeah, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, love you guys. Bye.